Hello everyone, in this second video we will be creating the front-end part of our project so go open the command line and make sure you are on your project folder you depend and go inside the client folder and here just say mpx create react app and a dot to the end so we have initiated a react project in client folder but we also need to install a few packages let me find them yeah it's axios and react router dom so we will be installing these two packages press enter we have installed the packages also now let's clear up the console that's nice we can now close this and also this so open the client folder go to source folder grab app css set up test report web vitals and this app test js also these five files delete them and then go inside the public folder grab everything here except index.html delete them nice now open index.html delete all those link tags and this one and this one and these command lines and this no script and just say my app and just say i mean you can my earn app okay you can be descriptive of course that's it and here so grab everything here delete it and also these two lines delete it index css so i have already created one index css file it's much it's very simple you know really it's just some button style and some input styles because in our front end part we will have buttons and inputs input areas and that's it you know it's not even a page actually it's very simple you don't need to read it just copy it that's it now index.js grab everything here delete report web vitals delete now our front end project i mean front end part of the project is ready we can start to work on it so let's create a components folder in source folder and here we will be creating six files so the first component it will just make sure that we have we have successfully connected from front end to back end okay if connection is successful the back end will send a hello message so that's it for the first component the second component will be uh, will be what the second component will be a read Ah, no 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 the second component will be a, a table creation component because just just because we have a database on superbase doesn't mean that we have tables to work with so we need to structure our own tables and to structure our own tables we will be using this component later you will understand how we will create the tables and let's also add some simple code here that's it and then here uh, what else yeah read we will read some data from the database and then we will of course write some data to the database and what else we will also update and we will also delete isn't it that's it actually we have six components here one two three four five six we will use all of them now we can start to work on the app component first grab everything here and delete and now first we will import react router dom tags and it's it will be router routes route and link and then we will also have those components which we have just created because the the concept idea is that we will have the website and on the website there will be a navigation bar and on that navigation bar for example if you click on read button it will read data from the database so we will have six buttons obviously for six components here and then we can also add our functional component here and we will first start with the router and then the do tags and here you don't need to understand much just do it as i'm doing just follow the example and i told you that we will be we will be using these components like buttons like navigation bar buttons and these are the paths 
for each component hello create read write update and delete so i need to create the routes right here and these routes they will contain paths to those components and that's it actually if i say npm start it should work and now you will see how the website will look like so hello backend hello create table create read write update delete it works perfectly front end is ready so that's it for this video see you in the next video bye bye